the book of Jonah. The word of the Lord came to Jonah, son of Amittai, set out for the great city of Nineveh and preach against it. For their wickedness has come before me, and Jonah made ready to flee to Tarshish, away from the Lord. He went down to Joppa, found a ship going to Tarshish, paid the fare, and went down in it to go with them to Tarshish, away from the Lord. The Lord, however, hurled a great wind upon the sea, and the storm was so great that the ship was about to break up. Then the sailors were afraid and each one cried to his God to lighten the ship for themselves. They threw its cargo into the sea. Meanwhile, Jonah had gone down into the hold of the ship and lay there fast asleep. The captain approached him and said, What are you doing asleep? Get up, call on your God. Perhaps this God will be mindful of us so that we will not perish. Then they said to one another, Come, let us cast lots to discover on whose account this evil has come to us. So they cast lot, and the lot fell on Jonah. They said to him, Tell us why this evil has come to us. What is your business? Where do you come from? What is your country? And to what people do you belong? I am a Hebrew, he replied. I fear the Lord, the God of heaven, who made the sea and the dry land. Now the men were seized with great fear and said to him, how could you do such a thing? They knew that he was fleeing from the Lord because he had told them. They asked, What shall we do to you that the sea may calm down for us? For the sea was growing more and more stormy. Jonah responded, Pick me up and hurl me into the sea, and then the sea will calm down for you. For I know that this great storm has come upon you because of me. Still the men rode hard to return to dry land, but they could not, for the sea grew more and more stormy. Then they cried to the Lord, Please, O Lord, do not let us perish for taking this man's life. Do not charge us with shedding innocent blood, for you, Lord, have accomplished what you desired. Then they picked up Jonah and hurled him into the sea, and the sea stopped raging. Seized with great fear of the Lord, the men offered sacrifice to the Lord and made vows. But the Lord set, sent a great fish to swallow Jonah, and he remained in the belly of the fish for three days and three nights. Jonah prayed to the Lord his God from the belly of the fish. Out of my distress I called to the Lord, and he answered me. From the womb of Sheol I cried for help, and you heard my voice. You cast me into the deep into the heart of the sea and the flooded and a flood enveloped me all your breakers and all your billows passed over me then i said i am banished from your sight how will i again look upon your holy temple the waters surged around me up to my neck the deep enveloped me seaweed wrapped around my head i went down into the roots of the mountains to the land whose bars closed behind me forever. But you brought me life from the pit, O Lord my God. When I became faint, I remembered the Lord. My prayer came to me, to your holy temple, came to you in your holy temple. Those who worship worthless idols abandon their hope for mercy. But I, with thankful voice, will sacrifice to you. What I have vowed, I will pay. Deliverance is from the Lord. Then the Lord commanded the fish to vomit Jonah upon dry land. The word of the Lord came to Jonah a second time, set out to the great city of Nineveh, and announced to it the message that I will tell you. So Jonah set out for Nineveh in accord with the word of the Lord. Now Nineveh was an awesomely great city. It took three days to walk through it. Jonah began to journey through the city, and then he had gone only a single day's walk announcing, 40 days more and Nineveh shall be overthrown. The people of Nineveh believed God. They proclaimed a fast, and all of them, great and small, put on sackcloth. 
When news reached the king of Nineveh, he rose from his throne and laid aside his robe, covered himself with sackcloth, and sat in ashes. Then he had proclaimed throughout Nineveh, By decree of the king and his nobles, no man or beast, no cattle or sheep shall taste anything. They shall not eat, nor shall they drink water. Man and beast alike must be covered with sackcloth and call loudly to God. They all must turn from their evil ways and from the violence of their hands. Who knows? God may again repent and turn from his blazing wrath so that we will not perish. When God saw their actions, how they turned from their evil ways, he repented of the evil he had threatened to do to them. He did not carry it out. But this greatly displeased Jonah, and he became angry. He prayed to the Lord, O Lord, is this not what I said while I was still in my own country? This is why I fled toward, first towards Tarshish. I knew that you are a gracious and a merciful God, slow to anger, abandoning, abounding in kindness, repenting of punishment. So now, Lord, please take my life from me, for it is better for me to die than to live. But the Lord said, Are you right to be angry? Jonah then left the city for a place to the east of it, where he built himself a hut and waited under it in the shade to see what would happen to the city. Then the Lord God prov provided a gourd, and when it took, when it grew up over Jonah's head, giving shade that relieved him of his any discomfort, Jonah was greatly delighted with the plant. But the next morning, at dawn, God provided a worm that attacked the plant, so that it withered. And when the sun arose, God provided a scorching east wind, and the sun beat upon Jonah's head till he became faint. Then he wished for death, saying, It is better for me to die than to live. But God said to Jonah, Do you have a right to be angry over the gourd plant? Jonah answered, I have a right to be angry, angry enough to die. Then the Lord said, You are concerned over the gourd plant, which cost you no effort, and which you did not grow. It came up in one night, and in one night it perished. And should I not be concerned with the great city of Nineveh, in which there are more than a hundred thousand persons who cannot know their right hand from their left, not to mention all the animals?